angle of depression. An angle of depression is formed when you have to look down from a horizontal line to see a point. So this eye here is representing our line of sight and this is where we are looking if we're looking straight ahead and the angle of depression is the angle from when we look straight ahead down to where we are looking at something off in the distance, some point off in the distance. So this angle in here is my angle of depression. So this is my horizontal line of sight, this is my line of sight down to my point, and the angle in between them is the angle of depression. So let's see how this works into a question. From the top of a cliff, 22 metres high, the angle of depression of a surf boat is 11.5 degrees. How far is the boat from the foot of the cliff? So if I have a look at this, I'm being asked to draw a diagram. So I've got the top of the cliff, here is my cliff, and that is 20 metres high. So there's my cliff. And I now have an angle of depression of a surf boat. So I'm standing on the top of the cliff, and out here in the ocean is a surf boat. Let's just put a dot here to tell us where it is. And I'm now going to be looking at an angle of depression. So an angle of depression is when I look out to the horizontal and then I look down to the point. And this angle in here is my angle of depression and in this case it's 11.5 degrees. Let's make that look a bit better. And along here I can join it up and what I have is a right angle triangle. So now I can use my trigonometry to come up, to come up with the answer. And the question says, how far is the boat from the foot of the cliff? So the boat from the foot of the cliff, this is the distance along here. And um, I might just call that X. So let me call that X. So in my right angle triangle, I have one side, but I don't have an angle inside my triangle. So I can actually find this angle in here because this is 90 degrees. So to find the angle inside my triangle, I'm simply going to say 90 minus 11.5 degrees. And if I did that, and I should probably put my degree signs on there, when I work that out on my calculator, I get the angle in here to be 78.5 degrees. So now I have a right angle triangle, and from my angle I've got an opposite and adjacent, so I have tan. So I'm now going to say that tan, 78.5 degrees, equals opposite over adjacent. So tan, 78.5 degrees, equals, well the opposite is x, and the adjacent side is 20. And what I need to do now is I'm just going to multiply both sides by 20. So these 20s here cross out, so I'm left with realistically x equals 20 times tan 78.5. And we can pop that into our calculators, and our calculators give us x being the value of 98.301, etc. It's a good idea to write down all your, as many decimal places as you like, and then do your rounding. So the question says, how far is a boat from the foot of the cliff? Well, the cliff was given to the nearest meter, so I should probably give my answer to the nearest meter. So x equals 98 meters, approximately. And then you could probably write a concluding statement. Uh, that therefore, the boat is about 98 meters from the cliff. I uh, hope you liked the video. Uh, come back and watch some more later.